Welcome to episode 13, the preliminary final edition of Yeah The Girls, the official Geelong Cats AFLW podcast, brought to you by Deakin University, home to the world's number one sports science school. We're in the same place, but it is very different being a bit later in the week. It is a Thursday. It is. I have had a couple of questions being like, is the potty done? Is the potty yeah. done? And I'm like, no, not yet. Not late. yet. That had a bit of a ring to it. Oh, hey, I really <laughs> thought about what day I it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> not not I really, I was like, did you just come up with that on the spot? No, I just... Yeah, it is on on the sheet. Um, But no, it is a Thursday. How are we feeling, girls? Good. Good. It's a nice day outside. We're rolling into a prelim. We had a great session on Tuesday. We did. What more could you Training tonight, head um, tomorrow morning. Yeah, on the yes. plane together. Another away trip. It's been oh. a while since we've had. An I really, away trip I really love them because you're sort of in like game mode already. If that makes yeah. sense, like you're not like waiting around. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah obviously yeah. have training tonight. Pumped for that. Yeah, you kind of finish that one, and then you're like, okay, now it's only the game, hours. and then and then you get on the bus tomorrow, and you're yeah. like, oh, it's already here, pretty much. I did say to work, I'm like, I'm telling you, I am fully checked out after 3 p.m. on Thursday. You are not yeah. getting anything yeah. from me. We Completely fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, we do have a huge show, as always. Um, we're going to look back at the weekend's thrilling semi-final win over Melbourne. We will be finding out which cat is that. We'll be ranking with Georgie Rankin. And we've got a very special guest, uh, Kate Sermon, known to the girls as Spud. Who's been um, lingering every single show. I think you've show, heard her say hi, Spud, every week. And she said, I'm happy to go on the, the podcast if you ever need me. Um, <laughs> so it is her time to shine. Hopefully get to know a little bit about her um, being one of our new recruits this season. And she's been amazing. So it'll be great to learn a bit more about Spud and, um, and how she's been going. <laughs> so it's all of that and more thanks to Deakin. Without further ado, let's get talking about the game. I'm excited. Um, it was a great. It was a great win. It was a great win. <laughs> yeah, I can't stop smiling. I know. I'm so I think excited. When I came in on Monday and walked up to Dan's desk, he said, "This is what I've been seeing all day. Everyone yes. just walking up with a smile on their face, exhausted, like yes. mentally, I yes. think, and physically, just tired from the elation and the mm-hmm. excitement and um, and the we a great what a great start and and first three quarters and then. What a um, stressful that last fourth quarter. quarter. Mm. But again, like I think it shows the growth in our group and um, to, to hold on to that win. Like we knew Melbourne are a really quality side um, premiership team from last season. Mm-hmm. That were, um, they can go fast and they certainly did. And um, I think our defence held up really well to, to not let them back in, get back in. Um, With support moments, as well. Lots of like big moments. Yeah. Understanding we've done a lot of um, – situational based training mm. in the last probably two to three weeks I'd say mm. so yeah. knowing that at any stage we could be under the pump yeah knowing those late in game scenarios of what we needed to see um then gave us that experience of manufacturing that on the ground and you know we had Jackie down there at one stage yeah. we had um Scotty down there at the you know the very yeah. back end in that last quarter we were bringing feathers down at one we stage were, which yeah. we'll get to a bit later yeah. but yeah. it was great to see that that's the growth of us as a group yeah. mm-hmm. it's the training they've been putting into us and and um we managed to hold on and those first three quarters like yeah in terms of the way that we started um we talk about our structures and wanting to play our system and 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 um think about the process mm-hmm. and that being first and foremost and um every goal how like I don't know I, mm-hmm. I think about to every single goal and I'm in the forward line so I get to celebrate all of them I know it's a bit harder for the back liners in terms of uh, you just gotta oh, get ready to go again me <laughs> making good you're like oh I wish I could get in yeah. there but it's a long way back <laughs> but I know that Scotty goal, goal I was like I'm making yeah. an effort here <laughs> getting around her that was great I reckon I've got some high speed meters up doing that <laughs> yeah but we got the momentum in that mm. in the start of the game and obviously um defense was setting up so well to to help it to keep coming back in and we saw lots of great things from a number of different players and we'll talk about a couple of the um the standouts for us in a moment but um a really great team performance overall 100 percent. and coming into the game like oh like playing the reigning premieres they were they got smashed the week before mm. we had played a really great game against Essendon as we talked about mm. and sort of riding that momentum into the game and just knowing what our best footy was like and yep. being able to just start the way that we did and like follow through the three quarters i feel like even in the fourth you know melbourne had nothing to lose they were throwing everything mm. at us you they they won the premiership last year they're a great team yeah. yep. they're a top four side yeah. um and for us to be mature, chew the clock, do what we could to get that win, mm-hmm. 
God, it was a good feeling, it was wasn't so it? Oh, 100%. Afterwards. And they are so smart. Like one of the biggest things that I noticed got in that last quarter in particular is they weren't going to jump on us. Mm. So so the ball, you know, you, you see oftentimes for us, we want stoppage after stoppage. Mm. We want to yeah. chew the clock up. And it's as if they, they got to us, they'd wrap us, but then they'd stand up. So then, yeah. mm. oh, we have to do something here. We don't want to just flip it out. So it was great to experience that and see yeah. that's, um, I guess, their level of experience that they've had playing together. But then seeing us combat that and go, all right, yep. we know we can't flip this out here. Yep. We've got to be really smart about how we do it was, was also really, really pleasing as well. 100% and there's so much learnings out of that last mm. quarter as well um, in big games like this coming up against Brisbane that we can take out of and, you know, like it's just so exciting the way that we can play our best brand of football and it's been, you know, in the background mm. continually growing each mm. week and it's just like we're in a prelim final, girls. Yeah. Do you know what someone said to me at work the other day? They're like, oh, yeah, my husband turned on the footy and I went, oh, my goodness, is that Geelong? Are they in a are they in a semi final? She goes, I don't think you guys were sort of up. So she's oh. going back to like, you know, three or four seasons ago yeah, yeah. and has skipped our whole progression. Oh. And all of a sudden, he's like, Look at you guys go. <laughs> You're like, oh, but I just sort of went, Do you know what? Yeah, we yeah, are. We are. <laughs> we are there. Yeah. And I think I, I mean, I don't know. I heard. Not that I've read too much. I'm actually really bad at knowing what's going on in the league. I don't really <laughs> read anything, but I know that there was comments around like you know, we look like Melbourne two to three years ago. Mm. And it's like, well, are we? Because mm. we know what we can do and we're mm. doing it now. Mm-hmm. And I think it was AMAC who was saying, you know, like we can take on anyone mm. oh, we're with playing the belief that we have. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 100%. So, no, some really amazing standout performances as well um, yeah. across the board though. I thought that connection piece that we're building yeah. each week is just really getting stronger and stronger, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah. And it's across the board, as we say, like, uh, if we can put the pressure on in the forward line um, yep. and then gives the defence time to set up and then the mids, the work that they were doing on the inside, um, all of them. Like mm-hmm. we had um, some really great clearances throughout the game, um, some huge performances as you say. So mm. let's jump into our high performer of the week presented by our high performance partner, Deakin University, a global leader in sport education, a number of people, um, as we say every week, but um, again, really, really um a number of players that stood up and had their moments. But overall, um, some special mentions. Nina Morrison was huge in the Massive. midfield. Um, big numbers in disposals, but her work defensively, putting that pressure on inside. Um, also, I think there was like, oh, I think back to one moment in particular, she smothered it and then kicked it herself. Yeah. She took on players all day. She um, just stands strong. up in and tackles. She just, she just can't get taken to ground. Yeah. And that's what you see that across the competition that. Those that can keep their yeah. feet and just oh, yeah. drive the legs and keep yeah. standing. And, and her composure. She has two yeah. people hanging off it. Yeah, and then still finds the right handball release. And that mm-hmm. that really started um, all game. I think mm-hmm. that she was continuing to do that. A couple of forwards. I'd um, like to make a special mention of Scotty. Um, yeah, Shelly Scott was huge and taking some great marks and um, yeah, some jump. great kicking. Some, oh, I know, her She's jump. got a leap. I Thank actually. You. She'll probably hate me saying this. <laughs> At training the other night, I was given a little bit of a pump up in which I got nervous afterwards because she she said to me that she was mic'd up and I was like, oh, my oh, God. No, yeah. she wasn't. She wasn't, oh, but oh. I gave her a massive pump up and was just saying, I just can't believe how you get up in the air and even <laughs> when I think you're not there or you're out of position, you just make a contest. Oh, anyway, so she goes good. to me, oh, no, nah, these old legs, I can't get up as high as I used to. She said one time... <laughs> She had the time in the air to look down at the player who was up to her hip and went, oh, I got up pretty high here. And wow. coming from Scotty, like, you don't hear that kind no. of commentary. <laughs> I love that, It was Scotty. so good. She can jump. I used to play netball against her and we used to, like, tussle in the midfield, like, in, as centres together. And she, in she the could, midfield, in the, on the netball court. <laughs> in the netball court, as centres. I've been playing for yeah. too long, obviously. Um, yes, and she can jump and she's, yeah, yeah. I think she can still jump pretty high. But, but, so do I. Um, and Jackie Parry would like to also make a special mention yes. of uh, Jackie. Jackie, um, some some great work, particularly in that first half, but all throughout the game, presenting um, her hit ups a goal. Um, so great yep. work, Jackie. Who I wants just to take the? Uh, oh, I was just going to say, I just wanted to answer. shout out the whole midfield as well. Yeah. Thought obviously Nina had an yeah. all yeah. round dominant performance. Amat kicking two, two goals, goals. Yes. Prezi and Prez thirteen tackles. Like yeah. what a collective! And Darcy yeah. Maloney, that Three last quarter well. when she got that ball to Ashling. Yeah. yeah. It was really so amazing. So shout yeah. out to the midfield. I thought they yeah. were fantastic. All they game. were, definitely. Mm-hmm. And um, when you look at the – sorry, I am jumping go, back a bit. Go. But when we talk about that fourth quarter, we did see, you know, when we get our numbers, um, 
on it was Tuesday this week that yes, their was it their pressure had gone up, but when you looked at ours, ours was yeah, also the highest up. it had been yeah. in all four quarters. So yeah. you know something to again be mindful of. Yeah, they did that, but but we also did we. rose yeah. ours as well. But our high performer of the week uh, brought to us by Deakin University. G, do you want to take the honours? No, no. Oh, my oh, God. No. Just, <laughs> just say it. Just, just say it. Just going to give it to Becky. Oh. Is Darby. Is Darby. Yeah. Yeah. Darby. Darby's doing yes. it herself. Um, well yeah, lots of um, huge marking uh, from Darbs. I think it was a number on the same spot, actually, like on the I 50. I think Icon parks her place. Because oh. oh, yeah. when so she good. played Richmond there earlier this year. Yes, oh. that's the one we spoke yeah. about. Massive, massive. bit more time, um, obviously, in the ruck, but she also had spent some time forward. She got mm. a goal herself, but the marking around the oh, ground was, so was, was particularly um, – stood out for us this week. So, well done to Darbs, um, our high performer of the week this well week. Well as we've said, it's it's a prelim week. We're heading into Brisbane, um, which is very very exciting. We've um, got milestones. We've got some milestones. Our own very own uh, <laughs> Becky Webster is the fifty games this week. Fifty games. How fast How that's crazy. Gone. Which I is know. amazing Isn't because it? you missed a few at the start yeah, of this year. Well, that's what's thrown me a bit this week because I was like, oh my god, yeah, it is my fiftieth game because yeah. before obviously I did my hammy. I was like, yeah, round ten. Yeah. If yes. I play every game, that will be my fiftieth game, mm. and then. I was like, oh, well, I've missed three games for us to sort of make yeah. the, the prelim but have like to play every all final. finals. Yeah. Like I just thought that wasn't going to happen yeah. in terms of that being played out. And now here we are. And I'm like, oh, my God, what the hell? So <laughs> yeah, awesome. So and very what a, like I just find it amazing when you see that sort of number and for your age, which right. oftentimes I, I do think we're the same age because we came in the same year. We're definitely not. <laughs> so for your age mm. is just awesome. And then you think about – how many more games of footy you have ahead yeah. of you oh, is so jumps. exciting. Yeah. And that growth from, you know, you you are such a utility. Like we see you when you did, you played so strong in the midfield. Mm. And then during that time, they spat you forward at time. Did yeah. you get spat, you know, last season yeah, kind of having bit, periods yeah. through there? We know you can play on the wing. And then you've come back, yeah. which you had played a bit of defence early days. Yeah, early days, yeah. Yep. So seeing that you're just so well rounded in everything you do and the growth in – your leadership as well, yeah, has just been massive. Like I, I actually always say to my parents, I'm like, if there's someone who comes up to me and says, "Gee, that was bloody awesome," yeah. regardless of whether I've actually done anything or not, you can make me believe like I have just absolutely killed it because of your energy and you just genuinely care so much for everyone around you. Oh, girls, this is not about so this. big game, Becky. <laughs> it is Thank also you. 25 games for Rachel Cairns, our Rachel. First Irish player. I've got a couple others on the list now, which is so good. But mm-hmm. um, very excited to see Rach run out for her very 25th good. alongside you. Have we um, had her on the potty yet? I wonder how we go. Oh, I reckon it, we tried poaching her one year, but say, she's not a big fan <laughs> of the pot. <laughs> That's what I thought. How long is it going to take us to, <laughs> to pull her on here? So, yes, yeah, so there's a big um, big things happening. 7.45 up in Queensland. As we said, we're head off tomorrow, which is, um, is going to be great. And it's on the main channel, Channel 7. In, if you so can't if make you a flight, we'd love to see you there the if you can in person, but um, if not, um, and the signs again, we might make a special mention. Um, someone yeah. reached out to us actually that said, if you make the prelim, I'm going to make you a special year. The girls oh, yeah. poster, with, the so Caitlin, with diamantes, it's huge. She said she's bringing it to Queensland, so Caitlin, we look forward to seeing it uh, up in Queensland. I don't, I don't know yeah. how you get that on the message. flight, but um, we look forward to seeing it. I'm sure you can, you can hold it up at the airport or something, get a little selfie. We would love to um, oh to see that. I can't wait for the finished product. I'm yeah. imagining the diamantes on it. Yeah, yeah. So. I did have the. Um, there was a boots. There was a boots one again. She came last oh week, God, and then she brought it back this week. And I said, "Sorry, I still need, need them. I need another still week. Need them. Another week. This is it. Um, so very, very exciting. Um, anything else on on the game, girls? Are you happy? We can Should go we get on into? And on, so we should go on. on. We've got Kate uh, Sermon Spud hanging out, ready to go. Um, so looking forward to chatting. And we need all the time in the world for we her. Do. This could be <laughs> our longest podcast yet. So. I know. Comparing her with Meg McDonald, I'm like they've both got lots of <laughs> yeah. lots of great things to say. So there may be some editing, Jake. We may need to cut some. <laughs> Stay tuned. Cats fans, Jeremy Cameron here. Are you ready to be part of history once again? In 2023, we shattered our membership record, hitting over 80,000 members for the very first time. In 2024, we are raising the bar. Be one in hoops with us as we try to break the membership record again. Experience exclusive benefits, insider access and the thrill of being part of greatness. 
Secure your 2024 Cats membership today at geelongcats.com.au. Go the Catters. We are back and it is time to chat to our special guest, Kate Sermon, as I said before, known to the group as Spud. Welcome on. First of all, Spud. You've thank been, you. Bit, we said before you've been eager, eager I to come been. on. I've been waiting for this invite, so yeah. thank you for having me. No, nah, it's good. Um, yeah. Always great to have a chat to um, all of our players on our team, but particularly for the for the listeners to get to know some of our new players. And um, part of that, it's it's really interesting to learn about people's football backgrounds and how they've come to footy. And then uh, for you, you've got a bit of a history in AFLW in terms of where you've been. So can you do you want to talk through and share with our listeners where you've come from and your bit of your footy journey? Okay, so... Just be mindful of time. (laughs) (laughs) We've got jokes here. (laughs) Um, So I actually didn't start playing, I think, until I was about 26 or 27. And I started at Maroochydore, so that's on the Sunshine Coast. Um, I also did Auskick when I was really little, so there was a massive gap between when I touched the footy and when I actually started playing. So you Um, grew up in Ballarat, didn't you, Spud? Yeah, I was a And had Auskick in Ballarat? Yeah, Yeah, in the nice cold... Cold yeah. weather down God, on the back Marucci is a bit of a Ballarat. change yeah. to Ballarat, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But I, I always kind of played school footy. Like you have terms footy down yeah. here. And yeah. um, I remember playing for um, Loretto and playing against Ballarat Claren College and okay. having some um, pretty tough contests with them. And every year, actually, it's quite funny, the uh, Clarendon coach would always ask me to play for North Ballarat. But I was like, no, 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 no. Um, and even like my footy boots, I think I got them from my best mate's brother. Yeah, right. um, and then I think my second pair was just an op shop pair of boots. This is all yeah. just term sport, f- like, yeah. you know, boots. Um, so, yeah, so I started kind of kicking the footy around there. Always loved playing footy, yeah. but um, unfortunately, there just wasn't um, any opportunities to play footy. So, yeah. I was a basketballer, just like yeah. um, G ranks here. That's how we got all our skills, yeah. didn't we? Baller, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, we never crossed paths though. Oh, you no. were because I was in Queensland. No. I was in Ballarat when I played basketball. Oh, uh, that was yeah. Nice. yeah. So obviously, no real football up until I moved to the Sunshine Coast after yeah, uni. Right. Um, and you would think moving up there, women's football wouldn't have been the main as yeah, yeah yeah prevalent. I know, right? Um, well, it's quite. So my mate actually. So it was when it was the first year of AFLW, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. my best mate played for Carlton. She was a top up player for Carlton when had they had heaps of injuries. Just got to get closer to the mic. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, that actually that is <laughs> a little better. bit better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who would have thought? I'm not very loud. Um, yeah. So. Um, I watched her play and I kind of was like, we used to play footy together. So I was like... She can do it. Yeah, I was like, I might as well have a crack. And I always used to tell people, I'm like, yeah... If I had played, I would have. I would have played AFLW. You know who, all that who crap. Who was that? Um, Tani Nesta. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah. So I'm not sure if any of you guys know her. Uh, no. yeah. Of of her. Yeah. 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 She Is played she still playing? No. Uh, no. No. Yeah. She works at actually North Melbourne now. Oh, there you so go. So she does some PDM work at North Melbourne. So she's the one who got me into it. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah. So I started, you know, Maroochydore just because I saw some girls I played touch against mm-hmm. played from Maroochydore. So I went down to training one day, and then next minute. I was at um, playing from Ruchidor. I do have a funny, qu- funny story for you though. Yeah. My first ever game of AFLW, I mean, sorry, of AFL mm. was against Taylor Harris and Ellie Anderson. Wow. Right? Hear this? They played for Aspley. They came up, that was their home club. Mm. And they came, and this is like Div 2, like not the top grade, this is like the below grade. <laughs> and they came back to play, and they were only in Div 2. So my first ever game was against them. And yeah, I remember Brett, my partner, he was like, this girl can kick from 50 on her left and her right. <laughs> and that was Taylor Harris. Yeah, right. There you so, go. Well, I'm not sure if they even yeah. know that, but yeah. we That's got flogged that day. Like, <laughs> <all team. laughs> I played Snaps in the back the line, boundary. right? Oh, I played ninja. in the back line. So hey. I got the ball a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got flogged. It was great. Yeah. 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 Or it was going over your head from 50. Yeah. yeah. Gee, so when did they yeah. make, when did you make the move to a forward after oh. that? No, no, they just put me in the back line. I don't just know why. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. my first ever game because I'd literally yeah. rocked up that week for training. That's why I was in the seconds. Yeah. Uh, the next week I was in the first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then so wait and then what <laughs> so then when did you get picked up to gold coast um oh yeah that? so yeah you know i do talk a lot clearly i'll mm. i'll take some breaths now and then <laughs> um so i gold coast so i played from ruchador in the qaflw yeah 
And they were coming into the comp in 2020 and they just started kind of looking at players and approached me to see whether I wanted to play what we call like a winter series, which was, I think, three games against Brisbane. And this was in the off season. So it was kind of to prep Gold Coast to come into the comp. Um, The first year I didn't play. Um, I just observed. And then in that second year, I made that second year team and then... I start and then I got picked up as a what pre signing yeah, mm-hmm. in yeah, that very great. first year and then played in 2020. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. it was really random. We moved from the sunny coast to yeah. um, to Gold Coast in yeah. a really short period of time. To so a great spot. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. I moved to Nobby Beach, so I got very very lucky of where I, where we lived. And Gold Coast is not what you you see it. Um, it's beautiful, isn't it, Ranks? It absolutely is. The Gold Coast yeah. is not surface paradise it's not. for everyone. No, at it home. is not. And I lived <laughs> further south than that, and then yeah. now I live even further south than that. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, was really, really grateful for what Gold Coast gave me. You know, um, they still do hold like you know a special, you know, special yeah. kind of place in my heart for them because they gave me the shot. But um, on to bigger and better things now. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how good! Oh, exactly right. And you mentioned there about a um, bit of movement. We know um, many players in the AFLW have sacrificed different things to come and to play and and balance that alongside um, life, whether it's work Mm. or um, whatever, study, whatever it might be. Can you share a little bit about the sacrifice you've made? Um, Your puppy and your fiancé are not in Geelong. No, no. So I'm a bit of a, like a FIFO player, aren't I? Mm. Kind of. (laughs) 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 I just said that that makes makes sense, sense, doesn't it? Um, Yeah, so I actually spend the off-season in Tweed Head. So it's just on the border of Coolangatta and – sorry, on the border of Queensland and New South Wales. And then I come down here in the pre-season and then play the season and then go back home. So my partner – Lives up there with yeah. my dog, my beautiful dog Doug. Which being down a couple, sorry, I, just, yeah. I think my favorite thing yeah. is it's Brett, Doug, and Spud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my, I'm sure you yeah. can show a big picture of my dog. Great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is beautiful. Um, <laughs> obviously, my partner's beautiful yeah. too. <laughs> and Brett's um, come to a few games when he can. Yeah. So, he, to be honest, he's come down. I think nearly we've seen each other maybe once a month, which is yeah. crazy because it's actually quite cheap to fly down here it's good yeah. um oh, i'd love it if virgin flew to have one that'd be nice <laughs> yeah, but um true. jetstar still does well mm-hmm. yeah. yeah good and yeah. spud where the hell did spud come from um yeah so it's a good nickname i like it i've had it since i was so young mm-hmm. so where everyone thinks it's a bit of like a, a negative thing whereas i've had it for so long it's not and if i'll tell the story i'll tell you the story why and you'll understand why it's not negative mm-hmm. um so when i was a little baby I used to sit on the couch and stare at the TV. <laughs> what does that mean? Spud. Couch. Couch, couch potato. potato. Yeah. Couch yeah. potato. Yeah. So, and then I just, Spud kind of came yeah. from that when I was like six months old and my dad coached me in sport and then next minute, Spud and it carried all the way through all my sports <laughs> and yeah. But in my professional, you know, environment, yeah. I'm Kate, but... Okay. Spud, spud. And I have, yeah. Sorry, what yeah. is your professional yeah. Yeah. environment? Because I'd say this is one of them. Yes. I don't think you're Kate <laughs> yeah. very no. often. I have pulled out the yeah. Kate, Kate, Kato. Initially, when? you did. When? When? Random, <laughs> random, it was and Kate. Early. Early. And I've gone. Oh, oh no, that I've got a really yeah. good friend called Kate that I call oh, Kato. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't. I've never called you Kate no. or Kato. <laughs> and it, that came out one day. <laughs> it did. It came out. We looked at each other and we we're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Um. But, yeah, no, Spud, I've had it for such a long time. Like, I had a – I was on the phone to one of my mates and having a real good chat to her about, like, the athletics carnival and because she went to another school. And she stops me about ten minutes in and she goes, wait, is this Spud? Because I think I answered it. I was like, hey, it's Kate here. When you had the phones on the wall. Oh, um, yeah. So even <laughs> Back like, in those days. Yeah, even <laughs> my mates. Promise, yeah. yeah, like, sometimes if I said Kate, like, people won't Landline, know who it is. Yeah. So Landline. Spud, Spud it is. So if you – Fans are starting to call me Spud. Yeah. A fair few are calling me Kate, but that's okay. But um, footy wise, I think I prefer Spud. Yeah. yeah everyone listening, you're welcome yeah. to call her Spud. She's okay with it's it. It's I'm okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, this is you pretty much all the time. <laughs> yes. But game day looks a little bit different. Well, yeah. How do you prep? What does it look like? Talk to the listeners because yeah. they probably don't realise, yes, they say you're out in the field being mm. a little beast. Yeah. But you do have another side. Yeah. You've been watching me. You, you, channel, you channel, yeah. you channel a lot <laughs> of energy, you prepared babe. Me. You were like, on game day, don't talk to me because no, not well, don't talk to me. Well, a bit more serious than normal. Well, uh, well, this is like what I think my fifth season. So I've learned early, early days. 
I gave a lot of energy, mm. like a lot. And it got to the game and I was like spent. Mm-hmm. So I've kind of learnt <laughs> to kind of slowly build up. Um, one game this year, I was too excited. I actually had to go down to the, the gym and just like chill out a little bit. Mm. So I've learnt to just kind of chill into it. And then once we hit the game, really start to peak. Otherwise, I waste all my energy in the warm up. Mm-hmm. Like I used to be like, come on girls, like just repeat the same phrase multiple <laughs> times. Like, um, but yeah, now I'm a lot more quieter. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is. But as soon as you cross that line, she's um, a little devil, isn't I she? I know, I know. It's what is, I think um, Dan yeah. calls me a tip rat and I've never yeah. heard that before. It's a positive oh. thing. Yeah, I'll yeah, take exactly. it as a positive thing. I remember, the first, I remember the first time um, he called you that and, yeah. I, and you kind of looked at him like, I think Darth right. gets a I bit think, too. Yeah. yeah, and I was most like, it's a good it's thing. A, yeah, most people think it's a negative, yeah. whereas you're thinking you internally. Well, that, yeah. You're like, <laughs> you're <Yes>. in it. <laughs> yeah. I've been told a fox, fox terrier as well before. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. You're a little yeah. foxy. No, you, you're a tip rat too, oh. eh? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. How are you not a tip rat? No, I, think, I think that's like something that you're they around, want, you want the ball. Yeah, like, it's oh, like, hey, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Someone's I'm got like, it and you're creeping you're up okay. behind. They've got an open yeah. goal and you're like, hey, come into me. That's not me. <laughs> no. That's no. Dar, not me. <laughs> no. no, in um, a good way, in a good way. <laughs> you also have spoken a lot about in terms of, I think you've got a really big heart now. Mm. You've been in a number of different clubs, but you've, you've spoken to me before about what it looks like in your – kind of um, best team culture, best team club mm. that you've sort of seen. Talk to us about how it was when you walked into these four walls. Yeah, I think I know Pat's the sentence. growing up. I know mm. the sentence you want me to say because I reckon I've said it to you before. What? I think, I reckon. Well, well, the thing about this group is, is there is no, there's no one who acts like they're above anyone and I feel like it's just kind of a bunch of misfits kind of put together. I mean, we've got superstars. Um, we've, we've definitely got superstars. <laughs> 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 yeah. There's a few above yeah. me. Sorry, though, I, don't think, yeah. I didn't think you could reach me. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I love the, I love I'm the just myths. grateful to be here. <laughs> um, yeah, no, um, it's just a, it's a really good environment. I, I know you guys haven't been anywhere else, but um, I consider myself pretty lucky to be here and, you know, I haven't had the, the easiest of journeys in the two clubs that I've been at, but this one, oh, it's just very easy. Just a very easy group to get along with and, you know, you probably ought to see it on, on game day, guys. It's just no one gets up each other if things are going wrong. Everyone's just super positive. Um, and I know that sounds super cliche, but it's like legit, hey. Mm. Mm. Everyone's valued and um, yeah. wants to play their role for the team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I understand. And I think that comes down from like Dan. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I know, I know we're praising him a little bit, but you know, it does. Like you have to have that, you know, solid leader to kind of build from. So, oh, and Meg. We'll give Meg a shout out too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. And yeah. Spun. Great. Thanks, mate. I'm pretty yeah. nice. <laughs> well, I feel like you've spoken enough. So oh, we're yeah. gonna <laughs> So we're going to do some quick sure. fire questions. Oh, okay. So you can't think too much on these and you can't elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> you got just, that? Just don't swear. All right. What's your favourite movie or TV show? Um, how, to lose, how to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Oh, nice one. 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 Favourite sport besides AFL? Uh, basketball. Yeah. Okay, if yeah. you could be a professional in any other sport, what would Surfing. it be? Surfing. Oh. Yes. Have you ever... Surfed? Yeah, I can. I can. Oh, yeah, all right. Great you are up there. I mean, I'm yeah, not yeah. fantastic, we, we but... Got, we've got reserve. I think every single wave, we're like, party wave! We love this. Yeah. Um, Travelling the world, are you backpacking or hoteling it? Probably backpack. Nice. Yeah. Cheap meal at the moment. Look, not at the moment, but I'm a real, like, I'm a hot chippy fan. I love oh, hot yum. chips. Like, What's your post-game treat? Um, oh, I don't really do anything. Nothing too hectic. Maybe Nothing. ice cream. Nice. Nothing hectic. What sort of ice cream? I know a few Maxi Bomb lovers over mm. here. I'm a like classic, like just like a like a golden gay time or something like that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Would you call that a classic? Yeah. 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 It's an old classic. Yeah. Mm. Favorite song at the moment. Child. <laughs> I um, love the golden gay time. Favorite song. Oh. What's your What's your um goal song at the moment? <laughs> oh. Um. That na na na. Yeah. Um, na 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 Teammate, stop playing it though. I get oh. to goal, it's hawks, and they didn't play it. Oh really? Oh. They probably didn't have time. Yeah. <laughs> I keep many. Um, teammate, you want to sit on the plane with this week? Oh, I don't really care to be honest. I like everyone. Oh, that's nice. And I also am not annoying on the plane, by the way. <laughs> You've sat next to me. <laughs> Who said that no, you're no, annoying? No, no, no. Yeah. I think you said one time. Was it on the? That's right. On the bus, you get bus sick, so yeah. you've got to chat. But then you say. 
but I'm fine. Once I get on a plane, I won't speak. No. But then I remember you sitting <laughs> with someone. And I don't think that was the case. Oh, we were having an interesting conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. Okay. Yeah. Bikinis or hoodie? Oh, bikinis. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Funniest teammate? Funniest. Who makes you laugh the most? I'm just going to go through. Oh. Yourself. It's, no, I, no, no. <laughs> there definitely is someone that I can't picture in my head. Um. It's funny. <laughs> Sorry, I just. <laughs> we, we do have fu- funny people in it. We have some very yeah. funny people. To be honest, I, I love laughing at Nina, like when she celebrates. Yeah, like that's that's <laughs> funny. Um, <laughs> laughing with her, or probably yeah. like like I think Lee is just being Lee. Yeah, like, yeah she true. mumbles exactly. when she talks, yeah. and that makes me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what's quite she's yeah, saying, yeah. so you have a little giggle. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and most importantly. Are you a fake tan one or two days pre-game? Two. Two days. Two. Natural. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've had many conversations with Rachel about it, about like yeah. you can't be too dark because if no one fakes tan, it's really awkward. So yeah. fake tan tonight after training? <sighs> well, no, I'm going to do it tomorrow because we're playing in Brisbane and the Brizzy girls are pretty tan, so it's okay. <laughs> so one day is okay. <laughs> we don't have time tonight. So we finished like training goodness. so early. So yeah, me yeah. so late. Yeah, so late. Yeah. I thought the same thing because I'm like, i got to tan tonight and then – Marinate on the plane. No, no, you do the yeah. hour. You just go yeah, in the I morning, have get up early. Express. Hour, the important hour. things, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I will not be tanning for the game. But oh, you're already tanned. Yeah, you like can't it make your muscles pop oh, anymore. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> it is time for which cat is that? Um, <laughs> Spud knows how this goes. Um, she's an avid listener, so um, she'll be all over it. Um, we score checked last week. Yeah. It is very tight. Yeah. The guests are on five. G is very closely behind the four and a half. Is that right? Yep. And then Becky's on the two. 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 I nearly said one. Two. So, so how many people is that? Already gone? Uh, so we're up to uh, episode 13. So we've had 12, okay. 12 points up for grabs. One of them was a half point to G because she got it after everyone had had a guess and then we got back to the start and again. we just made the rule up on the we spot. We did. So, so she got a half point. Sorry, <laughs> um, you're winning on five points, Spud, before you even come into the game. So okay. well done. Okay. Yep. All righty, first clue. This cat's first season of AFLW was 2020. Okay. COVID, yeah. That's your second year. Yep. This cat is having a career best season. Wait, can you say the first thing again? Yep. Hold on. This cat's first season of AFW was 2020. Okay, all right. all right. And they're having a career best season. I think I might have it. I'm not going oh, We didn't even go buzzers, sorry. I'm um, not going oh, early yeah. though. What are um, our buzzers? What was your buzzer? No, I like the surprise buzzer. Oh, you can do a surprise buzzer. Do you want to do a surprise buzzer? Are you okay. buzzing? Okay. Are you buzzing? No, no, no. Okay. I just think... All I'm right. just talking because that's what I do. To be like, it's my t- I would like to guess. Um, all right. Third clue. This cat has a pet dog. Oh, oh. no, no. Oh, this is, it's okay, like, okay. It's Frizzy. It's not oh. Frizzy. Oh, so yeah, Frizzy was in my enough. mind. Yeah. Oh, was she, was she, she 2020? Was a bit, no, she wasn't 2020. No, no, no she 2020 was yeah. in I was just thinking about when I played her on the Gold Coast. What? 2020 was our second season. Yeah, second season. So yeah. it's yeah, early. Oh. Yeah, early days. Yeah. I just keep on thinking playing you guys on the Gold Coast and I feel yeah. like that was just 2020. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, Unlucky. So you're That out. was horrible Spud, guess sorry. now when I think about it. I Unless just, we I'm get to the river. By the career high. Career best season. Career best season, sorry. Because there's, I mean, we've got yeah. so many guns. I know, so but many. I'm like, so many people having this great year seasons. that they're a gun? Have they always been a gun? Yes. All right. right. Clue four. This oh, cat has lived interstate. Clue five. This cat is a qualified ski instructor. Oh, I know who it is. Yeah, can't you can't guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, is it someone? <laughs> I literally the, spoke to him before. You can't talk. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> um, wait, 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 wait. If he gets wait, back wait. to the start, you can guess, but you're not. Mm. Okay. Career high. Okay. Okay. Jake has no idea either. Clue so this six. Is a good sign for me. Since joining Geelong. This cat has played their old side twice. I'm going to go for it. Yeah, buzz, buzz for yeah. Becky. Chloe Shear. Ooh, it's not Chloe Shear. Oh, this is great. I've got all, all the right, time in the Jay. world. <laughs> Two more clues. Yeah. This cat has had 50 mm. score involvements this season so far. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm really 
And this last one I think is going to give it away. Are you ready for it? Do you want it? Yeah, I want it. This cat is a surfer now. Buzz, <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. It's Jack Perry. Wait. <laughs> you can't just say it. <laughs> Sorry, you were going to say it though, weren't you? <laughs> she gets the points. It's Jackie Perry. It is Jackie Perry. It's like, I just wanted buddies. to say what. She is taking the lead on five and a half. It's Jackie Perry. She just got a dog. I was going to say Jackie She got a dog Jackie today. Perry. That threw me. I know. Today. I messaged her saying it's puppy day. Yes. Where, which state did she live in? Uh, she lived in Canberra. Oh, true. Well, yes. I got. I got one. Yeah, go for it. Um, do you know what? No, do you know what actually genuinely yeah. threw me for a second? <laughs> like before you said Jackie Perry, twenty twenty. Oh, she played in Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. Yes, and I was thinking us twenty yeah. no, twenty. So was that was actually that actually made me. She's getting. She's kicked the most goals this season. Her most average disposal. Yeah, she's she's had fifty score season. involvements, which was only second to Nina, I think. Yeah, Nina's Nina, had a few more, but um, she's second in score involvements. So did you say high score involvement? You have done 50. very well. Oh, you she said, 50. said 50. Yeah, yeah. 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 So she's second, but yeah. This, yeah. this is done team. very well. Because even things are being like, has played their old side twice, but yes. then. So she's played mm. Matt, now played Matt twice, twice this, this, year. this year. I know. Yeah, Adelaide was a good Since game. joining the. Oh, the yes. Match. Well done. Yeah. Oh my God, I love this. So G is taking the lead on five and a half. Which is very exciting. Um, <laughs> so, yes, we can, so well done. Good no, actually, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we can wrap it up. And thanks for coming on, Spud. It was great to chat. As always, um, we will see you out there for some training soon. Woo. We will be back very shortly with Rankin with Georgie. Rankin. <coughs> with a new course, Deaconess Business School is preparing graduates to capitalise on the golden opportunities in sport management. It's time to take charge of your career with the Executive Masters of Sports Management. A one-of-a-kind qualification is designed as a more advanced version of Deakin's popular Master of Business Sport Management, which is the number one ranked program of its kind in Australia. Delivered online via Deakin's Cloud Campus, the EMSB provides students with a focus on specific business knowledge, including areas of strategy, sport governance, leadership and fan engagement. Capitalise on the golden decade with a degree that will give you the skills you need. Head to deakin.edu.au. And we are back and it is time for uh, Rankin with Georgie Rankin. We're back this week. Apologies. We had some technical difficulties last week, but it was very sweet to receive some messages going, where's Rankin with Rankin? Yeah. And so I hadn't realised, obviously, it had, it had gone yeah. out and, you know, I don't see it until I start seeing these messages pop up. So I gave Jess the heads up because I'm like, don't be waiting for it. Yeah. That's my sister. She <laughs> watch, She is like all Hi across Jess. this. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I get to, I get to meet oh, Daisy. This is my this niece. Is so my first oh, meet. Yes. I get to meet her. She's oh, going to be at the game yeah, of for the first time. Oh, three months old. Anyway. Oh, that is so I hope exciting. you're all getting as excited for me as we are. Jeez, little niece. How cute. <laughs> okay. Ranking. I couldn't go past just some top moments from the weekend. Honestly. Love, so good. love, love, love. And so many feel good moments. So I'll try. If some of them sound similar, I don't really care. I'm just going to shout them all out. Um, <laughs> starting in at number five is we actually had um, one of... Well, we spoke about earlier. We needed to call some of our forwards back to help us out in the back line at different times. And <laughs> this one over here didn't realise that we had – Jackie already had come to give us the support. Mind you, her, her player had come with her. So you probably turned around and thought, oh, we're even numbers yeah, behind yeah. us. That's so we've got even got. numbers. But Beck's going, feathers, feathers, <laughs> off, off paper. No. <laughs> yeah. Calling her back. Meanwhile, we've got Morgo who's on our headset, so he's got the assistant coaches up in the box, he's got Dan um, on the ground with him, and all of a sudden he spotted it. I don't think – I think there was something that he flips up or something that in, in order for yeah. them to oh, hear yeah. him or not to hear him, and he hasn't moved that. So the assistant coaches can hear him going, Feathers has gone rogue! Feathers has gone rogue! <laughs> <laughs> to put into context, she was playing like full forward pretty much, <laughs> and I'm calling her back to give us a plus one behind Just the go for a run. Oh. <laughs> and I'm yelling at her pretty much, going like, get back! Feathers, we need help. <laughs> and Feathers is looking at me like, I don't know, I've been told to stay here. And I'm like, just come back. <laughs> She's making her way down and God. Morgo's losing uh, it. Apparently the bench actually was just in stitches laughing uh, at Morgo being like, She's gone rogue. Sorry, Feathers. Uh, I'm probably absolutely anyway. Absolute gold. So that came in at number five. Number four, um, Benny Waller, who's oh, our list yeah. manager. And mind you, we have been told BJ was the same, but um, you know, you don't see too much expression come out of Benny, but the glasses were foggy and the emotion, 
He shed a tear. Oh, he shed that. a tear um, at the at the win. So I thought that was pretty special and wanted to shout him shout him out. He's been here from the very beginning since season one. Um, so pretty cool, I think, when you share that with those that have ridden, Definitely. ridden, road, ridden, ridden the wave with us yeah. since that first season. Um, so that's Benny coming in at number three. Is our cats convoy yes. that came oh. down the highway? Oh my god, we have shouted them out every week in terms of fans being loud, supporting yes. us. <sighs> Fourth quarter, particularly people could even hear it through oh the TV. Gosh. That that Geelong chant Jeez. wasn't it? Was massive, and we had a bigger turnout than the Melbourne supporters. Easy, yeah. easy, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. So around good. afterwards, like you guys are unbelievable. So good, the best. We have the best supporters so engaged with us, like the conversations you have on the fence afterwards. But I think it's just the fact that you can, in those big moments, you can Mm -hmm. hear you. You can hear the support and you feel it. Like, I can't lose because I don't want to let you down. (laughs) I don't want to let my teammates down, but I don't want to let you down. Yeah, 100%. So thank you. You guys, you came in at number three um, on my ranking. Number two has got to be the moment the siren sounds. You look and obviously there's the elation, everyone coming together, hugs. hugs galore. But then it was actually watching back at the behind the goals vision and there's Lingy, three like full jumps in the air, fist bump, she's getting the crowd up and going. By and herself. So by good. herself, just embracing the moment. So we're going to get the footage up for it. But But it was special, obviously. There was a sense of relief. There was excitement. Um, there was pure love mm-hmm. for looking around at each other. But I just thought, good on you, Lingy. Oh, yeah. Lingy. Just taking the whole moment as it came and then and then we all got to cuddle with her <laughs> afterwards. So but that snippet is gold. So we'll get that up for you guys. Um, but number one has got to be in the rooms afterwards. You would have seen the vision grows up. Singing the song with the families around. Um, some of them in the circle. Gran was in the Gran circle. In the circle. <laughs> um, I think Prezi had her. Yeah, Nan. Nan was in there as well. Um, but pulling them all in, I mean, I think it's something that it's it's super strong. Like Becky and I recently had a conversation about, you know, that local footy feel. And, and one mm. of the things is you do, you get everyone in the rooms afterwards. It's it's super special. And we get that a lot of the time with all our staff. And yeah. and often when we're here at home, the um, supporters that can come in or family do sort of line the mm. outside of the, um, the blue uh, warm-up area. But to have them so close... And the mingling afterwards because it's not just us. You feel it's like the a family. family with every family, don't you? Now, a hundred percent. And the they're part of our journey. Yeah. They ride the highs and lows with us, but to a degree, can't. They yeah. don't. They have nowhere to put their energy apart yeah. from into us and into sort of the emotion that we're feeling. So that was just unbelievable to share that mm. moment with them and then go around to each other's families. Yeah, because oh, as you said, so nice. it is so strong. Everyone knows each other. Um, the love and the care. Yeah. I actually, I was super emotional after the game. Like yeah. going up and giving my parents a hug. Um, dad's voice cracked. Mum mum had tears. I know that a couple of the other girls said the same thing. And it is, it's beautiful that they get to feel it, be so close to it and we get to share that, that with them. And I know you guys would have yeah. 100% yeah. felt the same. Oh, definitely. Very special. How amazing just like football gives you that feeling. Like... Mm. Just people that don't play the game or are uh, closely a part of it just would never understand the feeling mm. like we felt on the weekend or even when, like, the really hard losses happen mm. as well. Like, yep. oh, it's just it's just something so special. Mm. 100%. So that was definitely – I reckon that would be one of my highlights for the whole season. It would be up there of sharing that moment with them and hopefully we get more. Yeah. We get more of those exactly moments. Right. So good. good. Sorry, oh, I, nice. I have goosebumps. Yeah, Dang. I know. It's nice to reflect, isn't it? Yeah. And to, to to reflect on those moments together. So well done. Thanks, G. Um, no well, that is it for today. We have a big, big game this weekend um, with the prelim. Um, really excited. Um, can't wait to get stuck into training tonight to then have our away trip together. Um, we look forward to hopefully seeing you either there or tune in um, and watch us. Uh, we'll feel that support, I'm sure, as well. Um, in whatever way you can support again. Mm -hmm. 
And we'll see you next we'll see you week. In, yes. We'll see you there. Here. I mean. We will. We'll see you In here. these yeah. chairs <laughs> yeah. because we're yeah. not going back. anywhere. Yeah. Exactly right. That is it. So thank you. Thanks for listening. Um, thank you to our sponsors, Deakin University. We will see you next week. See you then. See you guys.